Consider this function. What do you notice and what do you wonder? I notice a few things. First, I notice that this function looks really similar to what we've been looking at before, with two quantities, or factors, multiplied together. I also notice that now there's a number being multiplied in there too. The third thing I notice is that this is a quadratic function, because even though I don't currently see an x term with an exponent of 2, if I were to multiply these two factors, I'd get an x squared term. So one question I have is the following. Is this also considered to be an example of a factored form of a quadratic function, even though I haven't seen something exactly like this before? Let's click quickly answer that question with a resounding yes. This is another example of a factored form of a quadratic function. I'd like to convert this factored form into the standard form of this quadratic function by multiplying everything out like we've been doing before. But that brings up another question I have. How am I supposed to multiply all of this out? There's three things being multiplied together. Does the order in which I multiply things matter? Well, multiplication is commutative, which means that no, the order doesn't matter. And so let's approach this like we've been approaching factored forms of quadratic functions before. And let's start by multiplying together the two factors using the area model that we've learned. x plus 9 times x plus 1. x times x is x squared. Positive 9 times x is positive 9x. x times positive 1 is positive... Oops. Is positive 1x. And positive 9 times positive 1 is positive 9. This leaves me with x squared plus positive 9x plus 1x plus 9. I can simplify this further by combining like terms, which gives me x squared plus 10x plus 9. Now that I've multiplied out these two factors, I can rewrite my function f as follows. f of x equals 3 times x squared plus 10x plus 9. We still have some multiplication to go, and to multiply the 3 times this new expression I've created, we're going to use the distributive property. According to the distributive property, the 3 needs to be multiplied by every term within the parentheses. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 10x is 30x. And 3 times 9 is 27. Now, I see for sure that this is a quadratic function because I see that x squared term. This is standard form of a quadratic function because it is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Using all of these steps, I was able to convert this quadratic function f from factored form into standard form.